sliding reverse lunge is the best lunge for your glutes and hamstrings because the sliding action and the friction from the floor requires more hip extension, which gets the high hamstrings and the glutes, and you're already, from a lunge, training your entire lower body. So it's just putting the lunge on steroids. It's also nice and easy on the knees. If you don't have the slider, you can use furniture sliders and carpet or socks or paper plates on a wooden floor. How do I make this more intense? I play around with some slant boards. So one thing I can do is I can elevate the heel, which is gonna get more range of motion through the knee and the hip, and also more low quad stress while still bringing in the glute and hamstring in a big way. If I want to get more ankle stretch, I elevate the toes. You see how tough it is when your cap is tight, what it wants to do is push you back. So you really have to work on this in terms of getting that knee forward from that good dorsiflexion stretch position. And then once you're good with body weight, sometimes adding a weight can actually help get more out of the exercise in terms of getting a better stretch. So start at hip level. See how far I'm driving the knee forward, how erect I am up here up, up top. <sighs> Pull it through. And then instead of bumping the weight up like a meathead, raise the shoulder level. And what this does increases the core engagement. It makes the weight feel about 25 to 50% heavier, even though it is the same weight because of the change in leverage or stability. And it also allows me to get my trunk more upright for more low quad stress. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The one leg sliding leg curl is the ultimate hamstring exercise because it trains both functions of the hammies, which is hip extension and knee flexion. Now, you'll start this exercise with just eccentric only, meaning I'll be here, go slow out, keeping the hips extended the whole way, and then once it's fully extended, set the hips down, and then cheat back and repeat. Otherwise, we're gonna be going full range of motion, inhale out through the nose, Exhale back through the mouth. Get ready for the burn. 